Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A, B, and C are positive integers, then the greatest common divisor of A and B, C is equal to 1. If and only if the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to 1, and the greatest common divisor of A and C is equal to 1. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. Suppose A and B are positive integers. Then the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to 1, if and only if there exist integers S and T, such that AS plus BT is equal to 1. Now, this result also holds as long as A and B are integers that are not both 0. But in this theorem, we're only concerned with positive integers, so I just wrote down A and B are positive integers. OK, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, in proving this theorem, we're trying to prove this is true if and only if these two things are true. So to prove that, we're going to prove if this is true, then these two things are true. And then we're going to prove if these two things are true, then this is true. So let's start out by proving if this is true, then these two things are true. To do that, well, let's suppose that the greatest common divisor of A and B, C is equal to 1. From here, the whole goal is to prove that the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to 1, and the greatest common divisor of A and C is equal to 1. Now, since the greatest common divisor of A and B, C is equal to 1, we can apply our preliminary result. We know that there exist integers S and T such that AS plus B, C, T is equal to 1. Now, from here, we can show that the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to 1 by observing that this is true. And this tells us that we have A times an integer plus B times an integer equals 1. In other words, if we take capital S to be S and capital B to be CT, then A times capital S plus B times capital T is equal to 1. And so our preliminary result tells us that the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to 1. In a similar way, we can observe that this is true. So notice we have a times an integer plus c times an integer is equal to 1. In other words, if we take capital S to be S, capital T to be BT, well then a times capital S plus c times capital T is equal to 1. And our preliminary result tells us that the greatest common divisor of a and c is equal to 1. And so we have shown that these two things are true. So that proves if this is true, then these two things are true. Now let's prove the other direction. Let's prove if these two things are true, then this is true. And to do that, well, let's suppose that these two things are true. The whole goal is to prove that the greatest common divisor of A and B, C is equal to 1. Now, let's denote the greatest common divisor of A and B, C by the letter D. Now, since D is the greatest common divisor of A and B, C, of course, D is a divisor of A and D is a divisor of B, C. And these two things mean that there exist integers P and Q such that A is equal to DP and B, C is equal to DQ. And next, since the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to 1, we can apply our preliminary result. So we can obtain integers S and T such that AS plus BT is equal to 1. And let me just note that the integers S and T that we have here are not the same as the integers S and T that we have here. Right? We're working under a different situation now. So, yeah. But now, let's take this equation and multiply C on both sides. If we do that, we get C equals ACS plus BCT. And then we can replace A with DP and BC with DQ. And then we can factor out a D. Okay, so now that we've done that, well, since the greatest common divisor of A and C is equal to 1, we can apply our preliminary result to that as well. 
So there exists integers I'll call u and v such that au plus cv is equal to 1. And then we can substitute a for dp and c for d times pcs plus qt. And then we can factor out a d. So what this tells us is that 1 is equal to d times an integer. Therefore, d is a divisor of 1. Now, we know that the only divisors of 1 are 1 and negative 1. So d must be equal to either 1 or negative 1. Well, since d is the greatest common divisor of two positive integers, certainly d is a positive integer, so d must be equal to 1. And therefore, the greatest common divisor of a and b, c is equal to 1. And so, we have proven if these two things are true, then this is true. And at this point, we have proven both directions of the if and only if. So we have proven this entire statement. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.